Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shachinandan Datta and in this video lecture I will talk about the population ecology. So at first uh, we have to know that what is the population. So population is the total number of interbreeding individual or species found in a geographical area who share and compete for similar resources. So there are lots of keywords. So interbreeding individual means the group of this individual they are interbreed to each other. That is also definition of a biological species. Species means the group of individual they are interbreed to each other. And so in a particular area the group of individual of a particular species present and they compete each other and also they are sharing their resources so that is a population like as example the uh, tiger population or elephant population so in a particular area the how many elephant are present in that particular area that is called a elephant population so like like in the formation of the life life is formation cell then the or tissue then the organ then the organism then a group of organism they are called in the, a population then the population a group of population forming the community a group of community forming the ecosystem and group of different ecosystem forming the total biome different biomes are forming the total biosphere so that population is uh, the a group of particular individual species found in a particular area they are sharing their resources huh. so that is the population now comes to the dynamic of the population so population basically there is few key factors or key features of a population like the size size of the population it means in a particular area how many number of individuals are there like the x is the a population so in this particular area here the four so that is the size of a population then the density density means nothing the total number of individual present in a particular area so this this space or the total area suppose this space is the 100 square kilometer 100 square kilometer and there is 1000 tiger okay so 1000 tigers are there so there the density of the tigers here the 1000 by 100 so there is a 10 per square kilometer so that is the density of a particular species then the dispersion dispersion means how the individual of a particular species how they are spread out okay how they are uh, uh, spread out across a particular range okay like that uh, they can be spread randomly means they can found here and there here and there no uh, uniformly they are distributed so they can found uh, randomly so that is the random dispersion and the uniform dispersion means the individual of a particular uh, uh, group of uh, species they are found uniformly here 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 so there is the uniformity so that is the uniform distribution or uniform dispersion then the clumpet clumpet means they are forming a group they are forming a clump so like the school of fish uh, like sardine they are uh, forming a clumpet so that is a clumpet uh, population and the the fourth uh, key feature of a population is the age distribution so age distribution means the proportion of individual at each age each age means the age basically biological age basically divided into three part one is the pre-reproductive age then the reproductive age and the post-reproductive age so how these three different age group are distributed in a population so that is the age distribution next we will see the age distribution so here we will see the age pyramid age pyramids means i have talked about the three different age group reproductive post reproductive and pre reproductive uh, or reproductive post reproductive and pre reproductive so in a population if you see the number of pre reproductive individual is much more than the reproductive and then uh, the post reproductive so in a population there is the post reproductive are very less than the reproductive and pre-reproductive are much more pre-reproductive means the young individual means the they are premature uh, reproductively premature individual are much more young population is much more huh, than, than the reproductive so that is the expanding population that population is expanding like the kenya population like the indian population india population that is the expanding like the stable population stable population where the pre-reproductive reproductive and the post-reproductive almost similar there is not that much difference okay so the uh, that is a called 
called a stable population like a u.s population yes that is also called a bell shaped population so you in u.s the you can find the old age or uh, aged population or uh, aged individual or uh, the middle age or the uh, young population are almost the same in decline population you can find the pre-reproductive or the young individual of that particular uh, population is the less is very less than the reproductive and also post-reproductive so there the population is declined it's going down like the germany population like the japan population so they are facing a declining population due to lack of the young individual in the population Next, we will see the population growth. So, population growth means in a particular time, the population, how the population is the growing. So, growth population, it is totally means in a population, the population adding something. So, so that is the natality or you can call it birth rate. So, due to the birth, this is adding to the population. It is addition and also due to the death. So, this is the death. And due to the death, the population from the population, it's minus or it's getting out from the population. Okay. So, birth is giving, adding to the population and death giving a uh, deletion of the pop from the population. And same way, the migration also impacting the total population uh, number or population growth. So like the migration is also two types. One is the immigration and one is the immigration. Immigration means the number of individual from the different region. They're coming to this particular population. So, that is also addition. Addition, they're coming to this particular population and immigration means that from this particular population number of individual are going out from this population so they are also negative so they are deleting from this population so that is the total population growth okay so this uh, we if we see the equation so nt means the total number of uh, individual at time t is equal to total number of individual at time t plus one next year plus b plus i so uh, b plus is the bio uh, means uh, birth rate birth plus immigration b plus i minus d means the death minus plus immigration so this is the positive to the population and this is the negative to the population so that is the total population growth of a particular time now the environmental limit to the population growth uh, growth of the population is dependent or independent so density dependent factor so density dependent factor this is the basically biotic factor biotic factor means the disease the competition the parasite so these are the depending the density if the density of the population is the high the rate of the uh, disease spreading of the disease is the also high if the population is density is high very high then the all uh, obviously the competition will be very high because they are also uh, i have told you in the definition so they are sharing the same resources so they are compete to each other the density is very high then uh, the uh, obviously the uh, uh, competition will be high the spreading of disease will be very high so this is the density dependent factor okay and in terms of uh, in different way density independent factor independent factor basically the abiotic factor abiotic factor like the temperature weather habitat so these are the uh, basically does not depend on the density like the temperature in, putter, in a high temperature region like in the desert there is also very low density population population density in the desert desert area is low like but if you uh, decrease the temperature like in the arctic region there is also density is very low so temperature does not depend the density so that is why the abiotic factor basically the density independent factor okay so biotic factor density dependent abiotic factor density independent factor okay now we'll see the population growth model so population growth we have see the uh, birth rate death rate immigration immigration now we see the at the time t so time is increasing how the population is uh, size of the population is increasing or decreasing so there is a two types of population growth model that is the exponential growth model and one is the logistic growth model and exponential growth model it is basically also called the gsf growth curve and logistic basically called as s growth curve let's see so in a time uh, in exponential growth curve what happened time is increasing time in increasing the population is also increasing 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 okay so that is the simple equation dndt means rate of uh, population growth is uh, r 
into n r here r is the biological growth rate r is the biological growth rate so normal biological growth rate into number of individual so time increasing the population is increasing increasing increase that is the exponential growth curve but in case of logistic growth curve what happened the time is increasing the population at at the beginning time the population is not increasing that much population is a very slowly increasing but after after certain time period the population is increase away very high so that is the lag phase of the uh, of, uh, time period of the population and this is the log phase of the time and after that the population is suddenly comes to the stable so that is the stable so lag log uh, uh, and stable so this three phase of life's uh, population uh, size is increasing in terms of time and that reach to a carrying capacity so carrying capacity is that uh, the environmental limiting factor so environment are limiting to grow that particular population so that particular population never reach that uh, carrying capacity so if they reach carrying capacity the biological growth rate will be zero here is the simple equation of this exponent uh, logistic growth curve is dnd t is equal to r into n r is the biological growth rate into n total number of individual into 1 minus n by k n by k n is the total number of individual by k is the carrying capacity so you uh, suppose you see the total number of individual of that particular uh, population is reach to k so means n is equal to k means n by k is n is equal to k so that is 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so that's the biological growth of this population dnt is equal to zero so if the population reach to the carrying that is also called biological equilibrium condition there is no biological growth will be happen if the population reach to carrying capacity so that is also environmental limiting factor okay so that's two type of uh, population growth we will find okay we will see uh, the next uh, slide the population growth strategies so population growth strategies basically two type of strategies one is the r selected species or r strategies and one is the k selected species or the k strategies so r selected species we see in the previous slide that is a, they follow basically j shaped curve or exponential growth curve and in uh, in in terms of the k uh, strategic species they are basically follow the logistic growth curve okay so in case of r selected species j shaped growth curve they are very short life span their body size is very small they are reproduce very quickly and very fast and they have many of spring there uh, when they means uh, spawning their number of individual of the offspring is uh, too much and they have very little parental care or no parental care the example is the fish population like the weeds and the bacteria so they are increasing exponentially okay in terms of uh, k strategy species or the s shaped curve they are the long life span I mean they are very uh, 50 years 50 years 60 years the long life span and the large body size like the elephant like the human so the large body size and the reproduce very slowly like the elephant reproduce 12 once in a 12 year okay so the and they have a fewer of spring 1 2 3 4 5 not more than that okay like the higher organism they have very limited of spring okay and they provided parental care so huge parental care like the in the case of human in case of higher organism they have a huge parental care like example case strategy species human tiger and elephant okay now uh, in case of r selected species the fecundity rate is a very high means the number of offspring the fecundity the spawning that, that is a very high fecundity rate is a very high number of eggs is a very high but survival rate is very low so one fish is legs or almost a thousand and maybe million of leg egg but among this uh, millions eggs only the few hundreds are survive so survival rate of our selected species is very low where is the k selected species the fecundity is very low means they are spawning or means the, their offspring is very low number 2 3 4 5 but their survival rate is the very high very high survival rate so this is the r selected and k selected species 
now we'll see the logistic growth equation some uh, equation means uh, from this equation we derive some mathematics so if uh, i'll give you uh, the biological growth rate ar and if i give you the initial population an and if i give you the k then you can also obviously calculate the dndt okay so there is a, a hypothetical one example here here uh, it's telling that the k carrying capacity is 1000 here biological growth rate is 0 0.05 and the initial population n is equal to 20 100 250 like this way okay if the initial population mean n is equal to 20 biological growth rate 0 0.05 and uh, here k minus n by k means this function this function is k minus 1 minus k you know k you know n then this is a 0 0.98 then dndt is equal to 0 0.049 okay so and delta n means the next year so dndt is uh, this one and so if 20 individual were there and so next year the individual of that particular population will be 21 okay so at that biological growth rate means at that biological growth rate the uh, only one individual is adding to the population next like uh, there is the 100 population this year the next year population will be 105 okay so that for that delta n is coming from the 100 into 0 0.45 okay 0 0.045 that is dndt into 100 okay so that comes to approximately 5 and like suppose here 250 into 0 0.038 it comes around uh, approximately 9 so in 750 population if the initial population this year 750 population the next year population will be 759 okay and here you can see i have to uh, previously that if the population reach to the k means if population reach to the carrying capacity yes this is this is the last example the population size is the thousand so that is the case e equal and there is the biological growth rate 0 0.05 but population never grow never grow it's rich that is that also called biological equilibrium condition so there is a no growth of the population okay so uh, it's uh, k is equal to n means zero okay i have talked to you earlier now the survival shift curve survival shift curve is the in terms of age or time means age is increasing if your age in different ages so zero to age and uh, what are the number number of survivors okay so there is a basically survival shift curve are basically three types of curve one is the type one type two and type three type one example is the human type two example you can take a birds and type three example you can take the lower organism or the a plant you can take okay or fish you can take as a type three like uh, here what happened in type one age is increasing age is increasing but number of, number of survivors is almost same 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 so it's not means uh, i have the, told you survival shift in uh, basically that is a case selected species okay human so there is a number of survival is not not decreasing after when this population this uh, particular population is reached to the old age then the, they will going to decline okay after the old age the population is dying to the old okay so that's why the age is increasing the survival rate is very high in type 1 then after reaching at particular age it's going down but in case of type 2 species what happen age number of survival is totally reverse to the age means age uh, how much increasing the number number of survival is decreasing at proportionately okay so it's a totally just uh, opposite proportion to the age to number of survival in type 2 but in case of type 3 what happened at the initial age at the initial age means uh, very initial age the population is certainly fall from here to here that is a low survival rate okay that is also you can call it that is a r selected species okay so in certain in the initial the population is going down so i have give you example there is a fish legs almost a million eggs but the uh, when the it reached to adult only few hundred uh, pieces reach to the adult so that is a type 3 uh, survival ship curve 
Now comes to the, I have gives you this example that if the density is increasing, that the density is increasing, the proportion of survival is also decreasing because there is a lots of things, a density dependent factor, maybe the density increasing, so population is not surviving because of the lots of biotic factor, compression is increasing, the survival is decreasing, then the disease increasing, the survival is decreasing, so that is the also a example that if population uh, density is increasing, Increasing the number of survival, proportion of survival is always decreasing. Now, demography, I gives you just uh, for this also one type of uh, population interaction. So, demography is nothing but the study of the human population. So, human population is a little bit different. Why different? Because it's also till now it's following the R selected or the Jacobite curve, it's also following the exponential. Means if you see the from the beginning, suppose the 1900 to 2020, the human population growth, if you see that is growing, 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 growing. Okay, so that is uh, the human population is following the Jacobite curve till now. Okay, so the demography is the study of the human population and the population growth rate is structure and the geographical distribution. We have seen the structure in period productive like the Kenya, US and the Germany example. So human population has increased basically exponentially. Okay. It increase, increase, increase. Okay. Human able to, why? I have told you the carrying capacity K that is basically environmental limiting factor. Okay. Environmental limiting factor like uh, certain uh, uh, temperature is increasing that that suitable temp that temperature is obviously the population never grow beyond this temperature. But we human can uh, avoid this environmental, we can we can reduce this environmental effects, okay. So that's why the human are growing exponentially. We can delete this K, okay. We are deleting the carrying capacity because we are deleting the, we can reduce the environmental effects, okay. So that's all about uh, the population ecology. Hope you understand. If you have any queries, just comment me, okay. Thank you.